this video, I am going to solve the problem 27 from chapter 26. A block in the shape of a rectangular solid has a cross-sectional area of 2.7 cm square across its width. A front to rear length of 11.7 cm and the resistance of 935 ohm. The block's material contains 5.33 multiply 10 power 22 conduction electrons per cubic meter. A potential difference of 35.8 volts is maintained between its front and rear faces. So here we have four questions. First question, what is the current in the block? And the second question is, if the current density is uniform, what is its magnitude? And the third question is, what is the drift velocity of the conduction electron? And the fourth question is, what is the magnitude of the electric field in the block? So here, they said a solid, a rectangular block. So first of all, we have to draw the diagram. So once we just draw the diagram, we will get a clear information. So what is the shape of the block? The shape of the block is a rectangular block. So let's we just draw the diagram for the rectangular block. So this is the rectangular block. And this is the front face of the rectangular block. Front face. And the back side is the rear face. Okay. And its area is mentioned. So the area of this rectangular block, they mention here as 2.7 centimeter square. If you convert this centimeter square to meter square, it will take the value of 2.7 multiply 10 power minus 4 meter square so what i did here i simply convert the centimeter square in terms of meter square so this is the area of the rectangular block and also the length they mentioned so that means between the length the distance between the front face as well as the rear face that means from the front side to the back side so what is the length so this is the length right so this length they mention as 11.7 centimeter and its resistance is given here what is the resistance of the block so the resistance here they mention as 935 ohm and this block contains the number of charge carriers it takes the value of 5.33 multiplied 10 power 22 so how many conduction electrons in this uh, block 5.33 multiply 10 power 22 per cubic meter. And we have the potential difference between the front face to the rear face. That means the front between the front face to the rear face, the potential we applied here as 35.8 volts that means the volt they mentioned here as 35.8 volt by using all these we have to answer for these four question the first question we are going to find what is the current in the block so for calculating the answer for the current i am going to use the rule v which is equal to i multiplied by r therefore i is equal to v over r so V value is already given here as 35.8 and the resistance of the block here they mentioned as 935. If you calculate, we got the answer for the current as 0.038 ampere. So this is the answer for the first question. And in the second part, we are going to calculate the current density. As we know, the rule for the current density, J is equal to current over area current value i am going to take it from the first part which takes the value of 0 0.038 and the area of the rectangular block is already mentioned here what's the area of the rectangular block 2.7 centimeter square if you convert in terms of meter square 2.7 multiply 10 power minus 4 meter square i am going to use the value here 2.7 multiply 10 power minus 4 if you calculate, we will get the answer for the current density J is equal to 
140.7 and the unit for the current density is ampere per meter square. So this is the answer for the second question. And for the third question, we are going to find what should be the drift speed of the electron. As we know the rule, the relations connecting the current density and the drift speed, J is equal to N Q V D. What is this N? N is nothing but the number of conduction electrons in this block. And Q is the value, the charge value of the electron. And VD is the drift speed of the electron. So here, I'm going to use this rule for calculating the value of the drift speed. If you rearrange this equation in terms of drift speed, VD, which is equal to the current density over N multiplied by Q. So current density value, I'm going to take from the second question, which takes the value 140.7 over the number of charge carriers per cubic meter. How many, how many charge carriers we have? 5.33 multiplied 10 power 22. So I'm going to substitute this value in place of small n. 5.33 multiply 10 power 22. And the charge value is 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 19. If you calculate, we'll get the answer for the drift speed of the electron as 1.65 multiply 10 power minus 2 meter per second which is the unit for the drift speed and the last question we are going to calculate the electric field so what is the relation for the electric field the relation for the electric field is nothing but e is equal to volt per distance this is the rule so we already studied the rule potential which is equal to electric field multiplied by distance so here the distance is nothing but the distance between the front face to the rear face so i am going to take here d as l so what is the distance here here distance is nothing but what is the distance between the front face to the rear face let's we just go back to the diagram so what is the distance so you have to see this value so this is this is a distance from the front face to the rear face which takes the value of 11.7 so i'm going to use this value in place of d or we can just take d which is equal to l by that this equation will become e which is equal to v over l and potential is already given in the question as 35.8 and the distance here they mentioned as 11.7 centimeters so we have to convert it in terms of meter so we have to multiply 10 power minus 2. if you just divide 35.8 with 11.7 multiply 10 power minus 2. We get the answer for the electric field as 306. And the unit for this volt is volt. And the unit for the distance is meter. That means volt per meter is the unit for the electric field. So this is the answer for the last question. That's it. Thank you.